What's up, guys? I don't have a name for the channel yet, but I've been trying to cover the Colts for a while now. I've been a fan since 2005, which was a long time ago. So we made some selections in the draft. I don't know too much about these players, so this is more of just like a reaction. I've got notes here from ESPN that I'm going to be going off of. But, you know, obviously in the first couple of rounds, like, I can speak on that because, I mean, after the third round, like, I really don't know any of these players. But I will say I was surprised with – not as no, I shouldn't say that. That's not the right word. I wasn't surprised that we took Alex Pierce out of Cincinnati because the Colts have been linked to him. Obviously, he's fast. He's uh, – Six foot three at 52 receptions for 884 yards and eight touchdowns. I mean, Cincinnati doesn't play against top competition, which does worry me, but that doesn't mean that he won't be good. Like, obviously, you know, Sauce Gardner was the fourth pick in the draft and he played at Cincinnati. So I don't, I don't know, bro, but like, I don't think Alec Pierce is going to be a superstar, like, Pro Bowl receiver, but he really doesn't have to be. He just has to complement Michael Pittman well. And being tall and fast is certainly something the Colts need. Because they have Paris Campbell, but he doesn't really play much because he's always injured. And that's the problem with like taking these injury-prone players. They could work out or they could not. Uh, of course, uh, actually, you know, outside of that, dude, we got Molly Cox. We drafted a tight end that I'm about to talk about in a second out of Virginia. But there just there isn't a lot of weapons. Like, the Colts' offense really doesn't look good. Like, I'm going to be completely honest. Like, Matt Ryan, I think, has enough in the tank to be able to make right decisions and get the ball down the field. But, like, Jonathan Taylor, you know, Michael Pittman's good. Alec Pierce, like a lot of question marks. Uh, Mole Cox and then Jelani, if I'm saying that right, Jelani, it might Jelani, I think Jelani Woods out of Virginia. Uh, from what I uh, asked a couple of people about that know college way more about college football than me, they like to pick. Uh, you know, he definitely wasn't the best college player, but it looks like he's really gonna kind of fit well with the NFL. There's some players that don't really figure it out until they get into the NFL, so there's plenty of examples from that, of course, but. Yo, know, uh, since we already talked about Pierce, I mean, I would have liked Sky Moore. I would have taken Sky Moore. He, but he's 5'9 compared to the 6'3 Pierce, so maybe the Colts like his size more. Uh, I mean, I can't really doubt Chris Ballard. He knows a lot about football. He, he's obviously brought in a ton of talent for the Like, without Chris Ballard, the Colts wouldn't be in the situation that they are right now. So I definitely like am okay with Alex Pierce pick. We'll, we'll see if it works out. On um, the next pick, you've got Jelani Woods, tight end of Virginia. 44 receptions for 598 yards and eight touchdowns. He's six foot seven, so he's going to be able to replace Jack Doyle after retirement. Um, of course, we've got Kyle Granson and uh, Farid Green, Mo Ali Cox. He's going to be able to complement them nicely. I like the pick. I mean, we needed a tight end. We needed a receiver. Those were both checked off in the second and third round. We picked up an additional third round and took Bernard Raymond, offensive lineman at Central Michigan. I have heard of his name, uh, of course, and that was another need, need that the Colts had. Uh, they needed some offensive line depth because they didn't bring back Eric Fisher. Uh, Raymond, he was recruited as actually as a tight end at a high school, but then he moved to offensive line in 2020. Uh, yeah, so like honestly, it just was it was a good pick, being real with you. I know it's not like the sexiest pick, but it was a good pick. And and then the next pick really was like the one that was my favorite, and it was we traded up to the number 96 to select Nick Cross out of Maryland. I don't know if uh, Jay is watching this, but I know he made a video talking about the 49ers trading up to get him. Got like 10,000 views, which is crazy. He ended up going up. He ended up going to the Colts. Uh, so we gave up the 179th overall pick and a third round next year to get this guy. 66 tackles, three sacks, and three picks last season. Uh, I believe he ran like a 4-3-4 at the top of my head. I believe so. He's very athletic. Uh, of course, you know Kari Willis hasn't played a full season in three years. He's he's not that great. I don't think he's bad, but he's not that great. And then, as I mentioned, in the fifth round, we take Eric Johnson, defensive line at Missouri State, just the best player on the board. I know this seems like fifth round, like who the hell cares? I mean, Chris Ballard, if anyone can find a good player in the fifth round, it's Chris Ballard. I mean, this this kid right here, Johnson at Missouri, 131 tackles, 19.5 uh, uh, tackles for loss and six and a half sacks. He also blocked three kicks in 2001. Uh, and then in the sixth round, we took another tight end. Uh, which, like I said, was just the second tight end that we took so far, joining uh, Woods, sorry about that, guys, uh, out of Virginia. So I'm just looking at the stats, like 28 catches for 282 yards last season. He's definitely going to have a tough time making the roster because there's just a lot of depth at tight end. But, like, I'm sure Ballard saw something in this guy. And I shouldn't just say Ballard because the Colts have a whole team doing the draft. But that leaves us with Curtis Brooks, uh, defensive lineman out of Cincinnati. Uh, to be real with you, 12.5. Uh, uh, tackles for loss, seven half sacks during his final season with the Bearcats. 
Uh, he is six foot two, two hundred and eighty-seven. He's twenty-four already, which I don't have a problem with being a twenty-four-year-old rookie. Like, there's, I don't really have any concerns with that. But he is six foot two on the line, which does worry me. Uh, all right, and then of course he had a Cincinnati, so he actually played with Pierce. Now that I think about it. Uh, and then of course we took Rodney Thomas out of Yale, so Ivy an Ivy League guy, bro, which is crazy. I mean, going to Yale and being drafted by the Indianapolis Colts. He actually played linebacker. A lot of people don't know that about Rodney. Rod, people probably don't even know who Rodney Thomas is. Yeah, he did play linebacker, and then he transitioned into corner uh, during his final season of college football at Yale. He broke up 11 passes in 2021. Honestly, this is just, bro, I'm getting spam right now. My fault. That, you guys see, I'm like, we, I'm being weird right now. I'm getting this dude is legit spamming me, and I don't want to. I don't want to edit the video out, but yeah, being real with you, I'll give the Colts. I mean, I can't judge the Colts draft because I don't, I don't know half these guys, and also we haven't seen them play. But just if you want to go off a of paper, I'll give the Colts draft probably like a B because they they got all the holes they needed to. Uh, honestly, maybe a B plus. Like I'll probably give them a B plus actually because across like going training up and getting Nick Cross definitely makes me really happy. Um, I really don't think that. Any of these guys will be like a Pro Bowl talent, but at the end of the day, like I've said that before, and look at Darius Leonard. Uh, I mean, we knew Jonathan Taylor was a stud. I didn't see him being the best running back already, but so I guess you really can't count out these picks. But yeah, the Colts are definitely in prime position to make a playoff run. The Titans lost AJ Brown. They lost a couple of players actually in free agency, some linebackers. The Titans got worse. The Colts got better. Whenever you get better in the offseason, like you really can't complain. We've got our first next season, no third now, which is like whatever, but. Having our first next season makes me optimistic because, hey, if we fall short like we did last season, then we've got our pick. But, I mean, Matt Ryan, a lot of people are sleeping in him. I think Matt Ryan is going to surprise a lot of people this season with a good offensive line and some more weapons. Like, he had no weapons or O-line in, in Atlanta, and he still was able to make play after play. I watched a couple of Matt Ryan's games, and I was impressed. Like, I remember in fantasy football, I needed the quarterback, and I, I watched him just to see if, like, I should pick him up. Like, it was weird, like... I was I just turned him on. I was like, we'll see Matt Ryan play. And I was like, damn, this guy's pretty good. So yeah, having Matt Ryan makes me happy now. Do I wish we had a, a young backup like Sam Howell? I mean, maybe not Sam Howell. That's probably not the great greatest example. But yeah, I, de I definitely wish we had a long-term quarterback behind him. We obviously don't. But at the end of the day, hey, Matt Ryan is still former MVP. He's still, I think he's still like a Pro Bowl type of rec uh, receiver. Matt Ryan's definitely a receiver, bro. Go, go catch some touchdowns, Matt. Yeah, Matt Ryan's definitely still a Pro Bowl caliber quarterback. And you pair him with Jonathan Taylor, Pierce, and Pittman, and you obviously you have Molly Cox, and you draft a couple of tight ends. It should be interesting, but yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts in the video. I'm going to throw this up on Swaggy because I actually don't have a Colts channel yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but yeah, what I do know is that I've been a Colts fan since 2005, and it's time for me to get into this team. I like the Pacers as well. I think they've got a good young team with Halliburton, uh, Miles Turner, obviously. Um, they've got... Jalen Smith. It's a really interesting group, but yeah, I'm going to sign up, guys. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for new and go Colts.